It's called the Wallace Drag Racing Calculator. All right, Brad, so I was asking you questions just out of curiosity. Like, when, you, when you're trying to hit nines, like, give me, your, give me your strategy in terms of like using nitrous and shifting and when you're gonna shift. So my biggest thing with, it's not just running nines, it's running anything fast, is first going to my calculator and trying to figure out my weight, my horsepower, and if it's actually physically possible, like through the number rule. And uh, we could do that real quick just so that we show you guys. It's called the Wallace Drag Racing Calculator. Let me see, Wallace. And what I do is I put the number in uh, that I think the car weighs, which I kind of do. And if this number comes correct, then I know what I'm shooting for. So here we go. Weight of the vehicle. So we know, and we're just gonna stretch it a little bit, that it's 2,900 pounds because we know we weighted it the other day with me in it and it was 28, but we wanna just say we're high. So now horsepower. Um, on the motor today, or when we go to the dyno, I would like to see somewhere around 650 minimal horsepower. So let's just put the bottom amount in and we're gonna calculate that. Now, this is gonna give us what we're looking for. So we're gonna look for about a 950 at 140 miles per hour. All right, that's perfect world. That's like everything goes down perfect. Now to give you an example, before we were at 3,200 pounds and we made, and this is a funny one, 420 horsepower. And look what we got. If you go back to our times, that was pretty much exactly what we ran. So we ran an 11.8 and 11.5, we ran both those times at 117 miles per hour. Wow. So this calculator shows that that truck can perform at the numbers given, basically. And now we're changing those numbers to, like I said, 2,900 pounds. And I gave you the minimum, 650. I'm hoping to get 650 on motor only, just boost, just the turbos. I'm praying that if we spray it on the bottle, that, that this is the number we're gonna get. So with the 750 dyno tune, this is where we should be at, 914s, the bottom of the nines, at 100, almost 150 miles per hour. So a nine second truck is where we're shooting for, off the bottle, just turbo, just turbo. Um, the bottle is because those eBay turbos don't like to spool quickly, and I like to cheat the turbos with the nitrous, as well as keep my intake air temperatures down. So we are gonna have the botter, bottles integrated. It's actually integrated into the computer right now. It's controlled by the computer. And if it sees high IATs, IATs, intake air temperatures, it's gonna spray. And it's gonna allow me to spray anywhere between the RPMs of 2800 and 5500. After 5500, it shuts itself off. Now also, it's gonna shut itself off if it sees over 12 PSI. All these are parameters that are in the computer that allow me to spray the nitrous on top of the turbo safely. So hopefully we don't have to spray it because we do know we have a cylinder that's kind of hanky and we'll probably send her uh, to the funeral home if we do. But in order to see if we can't get into the low nines or the nines even, we might have to. So the goal is go to the dyno, get 650, 700-ish on the motor maybe do some spray pools to make sure it's safe and then go to the track and try to get nines we're not going to try to punish this with the nice the nitrous this time this isn't a full nitrous build it is basically there to keep iats down and to increase boost like to get boost instantaneously so that's our plan my plan is to leave off of the motor if i need to squeeze it and send it that's about all i can tell you